Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 5th of March 2021 and the time has just gone 9.13 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Euro versus the US dollar, Euro dollar. Um, as we can see here in the chart, uh, the wider term view has been quite positive. Uh, it racked up a multi-year high uh, in early January, its highest level in over two years, going on three-year high. Uh, but since then, uh, euro dollar has been in a is, has been in a fairly clear downward trend. Uh, we have the higher high, the higher low, the higher high. Uh, to be fair, the highs of February did manage briefly to take out the highs of January, but we have moved sharply lower yet again. In fact, this morning we're actually back down, we're down to levels last seen in late November. Um, taking a look at the MACD histogram, um, the MACD indicator, we can see that there's been a steady rise in negative momentum. So the underlying currency pair is moving lower. We're also seeing a rise in negative momentum. So for the time being, the kind of this, the momentum is with the bears. Um, why is this? Um, well, the, a lot of the move that I've asked recently has been actually to do with the rebound of the US dollar. The dollar was very weak at the beginning of the year and now it's firming up. Um, why is this? Um, well, we have seen a move higher in US government bond yields. Uh, we have seen a, the yesterday the, uh, the yield on the US 10-year government bond hit its highest level since late February, which, you know, the highs of late February were one year high. This has all been fueled by kind of fear that higher inflation and growth is in the pipeline for the US. Um, and we heard yesterday from Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, who essentially stated that he predicts the, the labor market in the US will, will, will kick up, as will growth. But with that, uh, there's likely to be um, some temporary, temporary uh, inflationary pressures as well. That sent yields higher and in turn the US dollar higher as well. Um, also, the dollar has been benefiting a bit from the flight to quality play. Higher yields put pressure on stocks, so more money was poured into the dollar. So with that, we've seen added pressure on euro dollar, hence why the euro dollar has fallen uh, to its lowest level since late November. Now, if we do move lower from here, because we're currently in around one spot, 19.27, if we do move lower from here, we could head back down toward this zone here, around 118. Uh, not only um, was kind of 118, as it is it the low point of kind of mid to late ish November? It also essentially coincides with this red line here, the 200 day moving average. I was not a decent barometer uh, for a market, whether a market is strong or whether it's weak. We can see here all the way back uh, in May last summer that that metric, the 200 day moving average, acted both as support, resistance and support back then. So if the metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be important in the future. But what's also significant is that uh, a, a fairly key support level here back in November also coincides with another with another important metric. So this makes it more likely that this that this zone uh, kind of in around one spot 18 will be watched closely because some people will be looking out for support levels, others will be looking out for moving averages. So when the two converge, it makes that price point uh, um, potentially even more powerful, more more in focus. Uh, if you do have a size of move below that, we can head back down towards the lows of early November in around one spot 1745, and then below that again could take us back down towards the uh, the lows of the very early November. Uh, down towards 116. Um, on the upside, if we do manage to turn around the euro dollar, if we retake 120, we could be looking heading heading back towards this yellow line here, the 100 day moving average, which acted nicely as support in, in, in early February. That comes into play in around one spot 20, 29. Beyond that, we could, we could be looking at um, we could be looking at retesting the 50 day moving average, the blue line here in at one spot 2131. But we'd really need to kind of take off the highs of late February in at one spot 2242 for to consider that, you know what, the kind of recent negative trend, this bit here has come to an end uh, and the kind of broader, wider trend is back in play. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, Euro dollar, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on with the dollar itself. Um, here at CMC Markets, we offer a number of Forex indices, which operate in the same fashion as the stock market index. Um, in that, it, but this, in this, um, in this way around, it is currency. So, under the product list, you can find the Forex indices. You have the CMC USD index. As you can see here, it's moved higher. In fact, today it hit its highest level since late 
December. So we're talking, you know, multi-month highs being racked up on the US dollar in on the US dollar index. So the, the, the dollar is only only gaining against the euro, as you've seen. It's also gaining across other a basket of other currencies across the board. So we could be at a, a, a achievement. We could be uh, about to break above a potentially significant level on the CMC USD index. Should that be the case, that could send potentially send uh, the dollar up towards the highs of late November uh, in around the kind of 970 area here on the dollar on the CMC USD index. And if that were to be the case, then you're likely, likely to see further pressure, downward pressure that is, on euro dollar because one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. And what that essentially means is that if a market's moving in a certain direction, similar markets are likely to, are likely also to be moving in a similar direction. And if they are, you can then be more confident of the move. So for example, if euro dollar is moving lower and you're seeing you know the dollar itself move higher, you can then be more confident that the, the negative move in the euro dollar is going to continue. Also, uh, today is a very important day in terms of economic announcements. It's uh, the first Friday of the month, so that means it's U.S. non-farm payrolls. That report is going to be announced uh, at 13 to 30 uh, GMT. For those of you watching this video in the morning time, you can actually sign up for our webinar. It's been hosted by my colleague, Michael Hewson. You can sign up for our website, cmcmarkets.com under insights, under webinars and events, uh, and that, that is free to, free to join, and it begins at 13.15 GMT. Uh, and then lastly, quickly show you on our platform where you can see your economic calendar. If you look at this kind of swiggy line here, which is, which is the shape of a chart, click on that, third option down, market, market uh, calendar. As you can see here, it's in the calendar here, uh, respecting uh, for the US non-farm payrolls, the Reuters survey is expecting 182,000 jobs to be created in the month of February. Uh, that's all from this, from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading day and have a nice weekend.